What is plant cell mitosis? Plant cell mitosis is duplication division, a process by which one cell produces two cells with identical chromosomes. Plant cell mitosis is the process by which plants grow. Prophase. Prior to prophase, the chromosomes of the plant cell replicate during the S, or synthesis phase, of interphase. During prophase, the chromosomes in the nucleus condense into short, thick, coiled structures called chromatids. Two identical sister chromatids are connected at the centromere by the kinetochore. Unlike chromosomes during interphase, these chromatids are visible under a microscope. Spindle fibers made of microtubules extend from the poles of the cell to the centromeres. Some spindle microtubules extend from pole to pole and do not attach to a chromatid. These function as a framework. At the same time, the nuclear envelope breaks up into little pieces and the nucleolus becomes less distinct. The pre-prophase band, made of actin filaments and microtubules, forms around the center of the cell. It marks the plane of division and the location of the new cell wall. The pre-prophase band disappears and is recycled into the spindle. Metaphase. During metaphase, the chromatids line up in the center of the cell along the metaphase plate. At the end of metaphase, the sister chromatids become separated through the action of the enzyme separase. Anaphase. During anaphase, the spindle microtubules shorten, pulling the sister chromatids towards opposite poles of the plant cell. Telophase. During telophase, the nuclear envelope reforms around the chromosomes, which uncoil. At the same time, the spindle microtubules depolymerize and disappear. The phragmoplast forms where the metaphase plate was located. It is made of short microtubules parallel to the spindle microtubules and actin filaments. The phragmoplast microtubules trap dictosome vesicles, which fuse into a large vesicle in the center of the cell. The structure grows outwards towards the original cell walls, and the new cell walls grow along its edges. The phragmoplast vesicle and the new cell walls are called the cell plate. Eventually, the cell plate reaches the original cell walls. The cell walls fuse together and the vesicle membranes fuse with the original cell's plasma membrane. Vacuole division. In plant cells with large vacuoles, the vacuole is divided by the phragmosome before the nucleus and the cell divides. The phragmosome is made of microtubules, actin filaments, and cytoplasm. The nucleus is moved out of the way by the microtubules or actin filaments. The phragmosome becomes a thin sheet of cytoplasm and cytoskeleton that divides the vacuole into two pieces. While this is happening, the nucleus divides and the cell plate forms. What happens if the nucleus divides without the cell dividing? If nuclear division occurs without cell division, a cell with many nuclei, called a multinucleate cell, is formed. Multinucleate cells are sometimes found in plant seeds and in algae. A coenocyte is a large cell with hundreds to thousands of nuclei. In algae, fungi, and the cells of some seed plants, cell division without nuclear division can occur. This usually happens in multi multinucleate cells that have a lot of nuclei already. What happens to plastids and mitochondria during cell division? Each daughter cell must receive at least one plastid and one mitochondria during cell division in order to have these organelles. Mitochondria and plastids have their own DNA. These DNA are not in the nuclei. They exist as circles of DNA, DNA inside the organelles. Mitochondria and plastids can replicate by inferring or by being pulled into two pieces. Inferring is the process where the plasma membrane pulls inward 
until the organelle divides. Infurring is also the process by which prokaryotes divide. Prokaryotes, like bacteria, have circles of DNA attached to their cell membranes. So, when a bacteria cell splits into two new cell cells, each new cell has its own DNA. According to the endosymbiotic theory, mitochondria and plastids were once bacteria living symbiotically inside other cells. Eventually, these bacteria became cellular organelles.